Hello, I'm Jude Scott and today we're going to be painting trees. It's uh, going to be filmed during uh, my Thursday morning class so um, please feel free to paint and draw along. Um, trees are one of my favourite subjects to paint and draw. They are just so endlessly fascinating I think. So if you like painting trees this might be the video for you. Um, please leave a like if you do and don't forget to subscribe to see the latest videos um, that will be coming out on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. The first wash is going to be this blue grey, so it's super pale, super, super pale where that goes. So because I'm using rough paper, this is only going to, all of the trees in front of that are darker than the background vegetation. So if you look at your background vegetation, the trees are about the same or pretty much the same. If they're slightly darker, you can just lift off the paint with your brush. <coughs> barely there. on hot press paper but it's much harder to achieve. Um, okay so what else do I need to do here? Right, I've got to have some more darkish tree trunks. So these tree trunks are going to be a creamy grey. So this colour here, my really dark colour, I've got that 
that raised jack bucket into the leaves and just want this side here not to be quite so light so the light is coming from the left and the bottom of that tree keep it soft because you want to put grasses over that and make it look like grasses so keep the base of the tree like it's coming out of the ground not like it's cut off and planted like a light pot um, so keep going <laughs> it can look like that can't it so um, another one so again soften the base and just get the right hand side of the tree or the other side of the tree to be a little bit darker than this side also put um, not to do that with the spin tree. Put a big branch up here. Before you go, this one here that's no, I'll leave that one, the white one, I'll leave that till last because we'll do some different things with that. So I'll let you go and catch it. Okay. I'll just pinch my leash. Oh of course, thank you. <laughs> What I've done is mixed up another brew here of colour and it's um, ultramarine and I put some viridian into it and then it was too green for me so I put some more um, yellow ochre with it just to make it a bit greyer green. So if that doesn't work for you, you know, mix up whatever your choice is, put a little bit of Mars violet in it or just grey it off a bit and it'll take that viridian look off. So that's what I've got here. So now's the time to start coming in um, behind here with, I actually should have done this darker before, but I forgot about it. Carry it away. So yeah, the flat of your brush, drag that down and you can get some beautiful marks. So there's a way that you can do this which is great fun. Mix up a little bit of Mars Violet and um, Cobalt because I want this to be a bluey grey tree, I don't want it to be too brown. Um, brown. More of a cool colour. So, so okay, put water on your paper. Just let that run down. Yeah, 
So use the flat of your brush and then into that, let's put some um, yellow ochre. Um, you might want to take some of that just out this way a little bit further. So same, same, but different. Yeah, and I think that will come up quite okay. Maybe a little bit of burnt sienna. So a little bit of it's very bright. Um, burnt sienna down there, which is also organic, so that should make a nice, it'll put warmth in. See, because that's still wet, it's um, blending in really nicely with the, the first lot of paint that I've So I'll do the shadows in a very warm colour. And you've got to remember that the shadows are... So you can even re-wet that if you want to put some grasses coming out. And over here, um, we've got a nice stick sort of coming down here. Put that stick in. You can go on if you want to put the ferns or whatever else, and, and it just lifts it. Lifts it. Uh, so I'll just do it there for the time being. And honestly, once that's finished, you'll hardly notice it. The other thing you can do, maybe it's spring, is get cad yellow orange. This is the one time where cad colours are brilliant. some of that on maybe it's you know and also see we've got warmth here maybe that's some wattle um, if you want to make it more yellow put some aureole in it'll sort of so then you it looks like you've got some flowers or something there and you can do a bit more of that here don't do too much you don't want people saying, oh yes, they've just put paint on there. <laughs> just make it look like it's kind of happened. So I think 